Hey guys, Dan Hood, Big DH2000 here. Um, I've just done something in my shop, and uh, I figure I'll make the video while I'm thinking about it. If some of you are fortunate enough to ever put in a dust collection system, or use a dust collection system for your shop, let me give you a few pointers of things that I've figured out. Okay, first of all, my dust collection system is nothing fancy. Let's go over here so you guys can see it. Okay. It's just from Harbor Freight. I don't do enough to need anything fancier. I think it's uh, one horsepower, I think. I don't know. But anyway, it's the double height one. There's also one that lays down. You can get if you want. Then, if you look closely over the years... You can see all the tubing. I never used PVC. I just used tubing. You can see it on the floor. Running along in various places. Um, I've also got a vacuum to vacuum up the floor that hangs on one of these. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Let me start talking a little bit to y'all. Okay. When I first put in my dust collection system, I'll admit it, I was pinching money. Okay. I didn't want to spend a ton of money. I bought these gates. Okay. Because they're like, I don't know, they're like two, three dollars a piece, something like that. They don't cost much. Okay. There's only one problem with these. First of all, they, they quickly wear out. And they don't really hold a good seal. Okay? That's the first that's the first problem they have. Okay? So you get a lot of leak. Now, if your dust collection system is only dust collecting on two machines, well, that's fine. Buy these and use these. But if you've got anything more than about two or three gates, you're going to need to go... with these higher end ones. Okay, oh, let me turn them the right way around, okay? I found these on uh, Amazon. They come in a pack of six. I would buy the six pack because you get quite a discount. I mean, it, these are like $55, I think, for six of them. And if you buy them individually, they're like 10 or 12 bucks a piece. So it's, it's a substantial savings to buy it like that. Two things about these metal ones. You can see that they slide up and down. You always put the little turn sprocket on the away side from the dust collector, okay? So if your dust collector is on this side and you put the gate here and then it goes to your machine here, the sprocket, the tightening thing, is always on the machine side because when you tighten it, it pushes it tight up against the side that's towards the dust collector so it seals that side so you don't have any leaks. Second of all, with these things, along this bottom right here is a slot hole. Now, let me explain. What that does is it lets all the dirt that collects in that little thing fall out so it never blocks it another problem with these gates okay you see they open and shut okay when dust gets down in this crack there is nowhere for it to go so if you have this in your dust collector like this or well whichever way you want to put it neither way works well stuff going through here stuff's going to fall down in that crack Okay, the most heavily used gates that I had that were like this seem like every two weeks I had to take this thing and clean out that stuff, that slot, or take the thing completely off and then dump it out, clean it out, and put it back on. For those who don't understand, there are multiple types 
multiple types of clams, okay? Here's the easiest one for me to show you, okay? You can see it right here. It's just a twist on, okay? I usually get I usually get the five inch clamps to go on the four inch tube so that you got room, it's comfortable, you can put it together, you can do your thing, okay? Now, the tube, the hose that I got was from Amazon, most of it, and it's pretty flexible, okay? Here, you can see it right here. You can see it's pretty flexible, okay? But you notice right below it, there's a pretty rigid one, okay? That actually came with my dust collector. I've never figured out where to buy more of that. But as you can see, I used it right here where I step over, which is the only place I really needed rigid conduit. And then I sprinkled it here and there and everywhere else to take care of things, you know, when I needed a space or when I needed something. Um, but in the places where I walked, I used that hose. I... I have no idea where it came from. I've never been a, I didn't buy any more. It just came with the machine and I used it where I needed to. Okay. The problem with the rigid, rigid one is you saw that twist them tie I used. They work okay, but the better ones, if you ever see them, uh, let me see if I've got one here. Here's one right here. Okay. Now, uh, look closely at these, okay? You notice how they're different? You notice it's two, it's two metal loops, two metal loops with a screw that pulls them back. That's kind of what you need to use for this real rigid conduit because otherwise it doesn't clamp down because there's not enough space between the, the ribs to get that hand tight, the other clamp that I had to get it down between it. Whereas the soft, flexible hose, no problem at all, okay? So that's that's my dust collector. Now, when I was you, I, I had put about half those metal ones out, and then I still used half of these. And I, I had tubes filling up with debris, the heavier, excuse me, the heavier debris, and it never clearing, okay? So I finally broke down and bought a second set of the metal ones to finish off everything else. You know, it, the cheap side of me didn't want to do it, but I put them in. And the minute I put them in and sealed all but the one up, poof, the whole run that I had that was full of larger debris, my gosh, it over, almost overwhelmed the machine because it pulled it all in. Uh, there's, there is that much difference in sealing capabilities, okay? So if you're going to put in a dust collecting system, this, just round file them. They're useless. Get the metal ones and set yourself up really well. Put in extra gates to seal tubes shorter if you need to. You know, like I have one big run that goes down one side of the shop and one big run that goes down the other side of the shop. And there's a gate on each side right at the machine so that I can close either run off and make it even better or do it easier without having to make sure all the machines are shut and sealed correctly. Just bam, shut the one side and then go work on the other side. Okay, hope that helps. Just another thing that, uh, you know, Cheat me, found out the hard way. Take care.